everyone. I would like to go back to 2019, to the AES show in New York City. One of the cool things about these shows is that you also get to see small up-and-coming companies which are starting their business, sometimes showcasing their first product, sometimes it's a prototypes, not even a product yet. In one of these these uh, little booths, I came across Access Analog. I went to their, their booth and talked to the good people there, and we we shot a video for the Gearspace YouTube channel. I'm, I'm sure many of you already know by now uh, what Access Analog is all about, but just to, to, to give those who, who, who don't know about them a quick recap, it's basically analog gear in the cloud. You will stream your audio and the audio will, will hit their servers, go through the analog racks, Potex, uh, SSL bus compressors, LA-2A, uh, the whole thing. On the booth, they had like these this robots attached to, 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 to the racks and it seems like the, 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 these robots were controlling the, the equipment and that's precisely what it is. You, you, you get a plug-in interface on your DW and you are able to tweak all the racks remotely which is quite cool. So fast forward to 2023 and here we are. Access Analog is a fully mature company with a very reliable track record. And I would like to show you around their service and also give you a few tips to make the best out of your analog in the cloud experience. All right, so I'm gonna switch myself to the small screen. Let's do this. Okay, so here we are at the Access Analog website. So there are three ways uh, that you can use Access Analog. You can reserve gear and pay by the fraction of the hour. So you hit reserve. It will show you a list of everything that's available and the prices for half an hour of use. So yeah, you simply hit reserve, um, choose your specific uh, day and, and time and go from there. You can also buy credits, which allows you to reserve gear or use gear on demand. So it's pretty much like a Netflix of analog gear. So there are some bundles here that you can choose from. So if you buy more credits, you get a little incentive here, which is always nice. And lastly, there are the subscriptions. There are three tiers, um, each one with their set of incentives. So there's pretty much something for everyone here. If you're a occasional user, it might be good to simply reserve gear uh, or buy some credits and use it as you go along. If you have, have a studio or if you're very busy, perhaps it's worth considering a subscription. So sign up, go to the downloads, download the Analog Matrix plugin and check it out for yourself. There are two uh, free devices that you can use so you can test the whole system. Right now, uh, these devices are the Daikin Comp 2 and the Iron Age LH95 Stereo Q. Uh, this is always changing as um, basically the, the selection of gear is always uh, expanding. Uh, so perhaps if you're watching this video a few months from now, uh, the the gear list might be a bit a bit bigger and the free devices might be a bit different so but anyway sign up download the analog matrix plugin and give it a spin i'm gonna switch once again gonna head over to pro tools so we can check out access analog in action <music> Okay, so here we have the analog matrix plugin. First thing you need to do is to enter your email password and choose your rack. This will determine the gear choices that you have. So uh, if you went with a reservation, make sure to check out uh, on which uh, rack you have to connect to. I'm gonna connect to the access analog, hit connect. I can see my 
balance here, my credit balance. And now you have to set your buffer and transmit format. These are directly tied to your network speed. So uh, you need faster internet if you want to have higher resolution and less latency. I'm sitting on a kind of a middle ground here. I have a long buffer. Uh, I don't mind having that much latency. I can live with that as long as I have some good audio quality to work with. So I'm choosing lossless uh, 44.1, 16-bit, pretty much pretty much like a CD, not pretty much, uh, like a CD. And you can go all the way to 96K 24-bit or all the way down to a MP3, basically. So uh, choose whatever uh, suits you best, uh, whatever is uh, more stable uh, for your connection, your, your computer and go from there. So let's add some gear. I have a uh, kind of a funky beat here that I would like to uh, uh, warm up a bit. So I'm gonna go with a Poltec. There we go. Now we have a 45 second uh, window here, the preview window. If I unload this, po this Poltec right now, I won't be charged anything, but once this preview timer runs out, it will start to um, deduct from my balance here. So let's go and give it a try. I'm going to set it to 60 hertz, 3 dB boost, 2 and something ish uh, dBs for, for attenuation here. Uh, I would like a broader bandwidth for the highs, a little boost around 10k. 2db and I'm gonna attenuate a bit around 5k so you can see the buffer history here it's quite uh, stable it's looking quite good right now so uh, this means that the, my connection is steady and good to go so let's do this let's, let's play some audio gonna switch off the Botex so you can check out the difference. Sounds a bit dull without the Botex but I feel we can push it a little more. for the mix knob here. Great, great stuff. Uh, let's try some more gear. So for this one, I have the AMS Neve uh, 336609 and a limiter compressor. I only have the compressor part here doing its thing along with the API 5500. Um, so let's have a listen. Uh, buffer history is nice and steady here. So we are ready to go. Now 
I'm gonna bypass. Quite boring with Doughty analog stuff. listen only to the API. No API now. Let's turn it on. Great punch. Let's put the Neve back in. stuff excellent um, last thing about the plugin um, we have a watch list here you can add uh, let's say uh, some piece of gear that is not available right now so for example the SSL series G comp so let's leave it here um, so when it becomes available you will have a change in the status here so i have the neve uh the the rupert neve design master bus processor on my watch list it's now available the poltex are also available but not the altex so yeah this is a really cool feature if you're looking um for a very specific 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 piece of gear that's not available at the time you're using and just leave it on the watch list and you can use it once it becomes available. Okay, so let's do some metal. Okay, so for this one, I have the Iron Age Audio Works LH95 Stereo Q. I'll have it set on mid side. You have mid side for um, any piece of gear here, any stereo piece, of course, or any dual mono. And you also have a link for the left and right sections, which can be non absolute or relative. And following the Iron Age, I have the SSL Bus Plus. I'll start with a preset. Let's start with the safe stereo mix here. It's configuring the controls. All right, so we have everything in place. Now I have the bus plus after the EQ. Usually we do the compression, then the, the EQ. It's not a hard rule, of course, but I, I'd like to give the dynamic EQ on the bus plus a try. So I think this way it will be uh, a bit more prominent. So let's have a listen. I'm gonna start with both bypass and punch them in as the song progresses. Gonna start with the EQ. Now the SSL. Style some game, some makeup game.
evolution to be SSL. Great stuff. I think I like it with the SSL and nothing else. <laughs> Don't feel like I need any EQ for this. So yeah, great stuff. So once you're done, you can hit either uh, hit arm here and play back your 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 material. Uh, then the access analog server will render a process version for you, so you can save and re-import to your DAW. You can also do some routing in your DAW and capture the, the sound of the track where the analog matrix plugin is inserted and recorded that way. Or you can load an audio file or a bunch of them on the batch processor. And these files will be uploaded to the access analog servers. They'll go through the analog gear and set back to you so you can hit save and re-import them to your DAW. You also get to choose the sample rate for, for this operation. I like to play it safe, so I'm not that confident in my internet connection or my computer. Uh, you know, DAWs are a tricky thing, so I, I really don't go uh, for the ARM or for the routing tricks. I usually go for the totally offline processing. So I'm using the plugin to dial the settings. I can have a, a good sense of where the sound is. So once I'm happy with the sound, I'll load the files, have them processed safely without uh, any glitches or anything. Because you know, the credits are running. Speaking of which, let's take out this too, so I can keep talking to you without a wasting my credits. And yeah, that's some good piece that, uh, of advice that I would like to, to give you all. So do some research on the gear. It's very fun to simply load up the analog matrix plugin and insert gear and have a blast. Uh, but you know, uh, those credits are running. Um, so do some research. Access Analog has some, some great uh, uh, pieces of information and user manuals uh, on the gear reservation page. So you can always go there and uh, have a read. Uh, gear Space, of course, is always a great, great resource for analog gear. So yeah, um, do some planning, some research so you can make the best out of your money um, on Access Analog. So yeah, head over to Access Analog, download the Analog Matrix plugin, Give it a try. There are two free pieces of gear that you can use. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. See you next time. Bye-bye.